what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life If you want to support our channel and follow our journey through Canada and also the United States, please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. And we love all the support and thank you to everyone that has supported us. Hello again everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Melissa. Welcome back to RV Rolling with the MJ as we are in Manhattan. No, we are actually in Lake Louise. I'm sure a lot of people recognize where we are. It's absolutely beautiful, stunning. Uh, right in, we're not in the iconic spot right now. Um, down, you can't see it, but down that way, we saw reflections. It was awesome. But we are not here to review this place no. because this place doesn't need to be rated. I mean, it would be over 10, so yes. if we were rating it, but yeah. We are actually reviewing Tunnel Mountain Trailer Court in, uh, in Banff. So that's one that um, you have to book through the Parks Canada website, and it uh, um, has great views. Tell me, what do you think about it? It has great views. <laughs> Big rocks. They're um, all they're all pull through sites. And we um, have site 145, which is full hookup, which I'm really happy about because in Jasper we only had electric and had to conserve the water. Not that I don't conserve water, but it's just much easier when you have it. It's 30 amp, and we have a little bit of a view. I was hoping to get site 141 or 143, but I had trouble getting it. So the next best thing was the 145, and I'll show you around a little bit. Also, right near the uh, our site is a like an area for views, like a little tur a turnout for cars. And I'll show you that too. It's a pretty big campground. It's nice. Here's our site. It's a pull through too, which I love because I didn't need to go out. And it has a picnic table. It does not have a fire pit. Fires are not allowed. I'm not sure about my propane uh, fire pit. Um, but we'll have to see about that. I like this little table. You can store your the black table. You can store your food there and eat. I really like that. We just uh, took our scooters. After we arrived, we decided it looks so nice to go into Banff. There is the bathroom and showers if you need it. And right over here is the viewpoint. Been seeing so many views. Just getting to um, Banff from uh, Jasper was unbelievable. There is a bus surface called Rome that drops you off and picks you up right outside the campground. I saw a whole bunch of people um, going on it. We got a little worried because it's uphill to the campground. We thought our scooters wouldn't make it, but it actually did. I was really surprised. We just saw a elk right near the campground. Seem be seeing a lot of elk on this trip. I'm getting to a point that I don't need to stop anymore for the elk. That's 143. So you have 
open views to this mountain. And then right here is 141. Right now there's nobody there. It's a very big park. Family of elk. Right outside our door. There's more. So the sights go all the way up there. What? Oh, great. This campground is really close to town, but when you it's, you have to go down, but then you got to come up. The best part is that view for this campground. You even can see it over here. You don't have to be right by it. Just to let you guys know that some of the sites, like this one, it's a pull through, but you actually share. So it's two um, RVs in one, like one big site. So it depends on which one you pick. So just be careful if you don't want that. Make sure you look and don't pick ones that are shared. Um, 30 amp full hookup, which was great because in Whistler, I Whistler in Jasper, we didn't have full hookups. Uh, some of them supposedly are, but we didn't have. So I'm happy about that. So. Yeah, there's like. Uh, Six lanes, like um, it, it's everyone. It's it's kind of just everyone's parked on the side of the road, but it's kind of a pull through. So very unusual. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the the town is spectacular. Close to town. Close to really town. We were able far. to scooter uh, down a big hill and up a big hill. Yeah, even the scooter made, made. I couldn't believe it. So that it's, scooter made it's about it up, a so. mile and a half, I'd say, by scooter. Um, so we're able to do that to so check the box for us. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have like a whole, there's no like activities like other campgrounds, but that's not what you're there for. You're there to explore Banff and everything around. So we made it to Banff. We're now going to explore the town of Banff. of Time Garden and it's right at the end of the town with amazing um, gardens plus the view going to town is stunning so it's a must visit you get some great photo opportunities if you come over here So let's talk about the review. So we go from zero to 10, with zero being the worst place we ever stayed, 10 being the best place we ever stayed. So what do you give? I'm gonna give it an 8.5 because of the location mainly. Like if it was in another place and it wasn't like at Banff, I probably would give it a 7.5, but because of location, we can see the view a little bit through the trees. There was a, a big mountain right there. Um, and the fact that it's so close to Banff, that was um, great for us and very easy to get in and out. 
So, what about you? I'm going to give it an eight okay. because it checks the wow factor. Yes. Um, Definitely has a wow. Can't say it was, you know, okay. Yeah. N nothing spectacular, but um, you know, with the wow factor, you often do get. You're very rarely going to get the both. You're going to get the spectacular campsite mm -hmm. and the wow factor. They just don't seem to ever put that together. Okay. You say it. No, you, you do. I don't that. know it. Just say, with that said, we'll see you down there okay. again. With that said, we'll... No. No. With that said, we we'll will see, see you down, down the road. road.